Back in the summer, I visited Gordon Castle in Murray for a bit of family history. Not for me, but for my then young pup, Jessie. Many dukes and duchesses of Gordon have called this castle home, and surprisingly, little Jessie can stake her claim too. That's because she's a Gordon setter, and the estate is where the breed began two centuries ago. My great, great, well, lots of greats, grandfather, fourth Duke of Gordon, he had all these amazing projects. He built towns and he built villages, but he also particularly wanted to have his own breed of setter. Angus Gordon Lennox is the current laird here at Gordon Castle. I don't know how you develop a breed, but he developed the Gordon setter. Her lineage will be straight from there. If you want to go and see great grandpa's house, there's, there's some quite dilapidated kennels. <laughs> if Jessie had been around in the 19th century, she would have had to have worked for her supper on the grouse moors. And actually there used to be an awful lot of English partridge around here as well. So it would be sort of part weathered coveys of birds and the, the, the setter would go and show the guns where the where the coveys were, and then, um, and then spring them, and they'd get shot, I suppose. Originally, they were both black and tan, and there were some white ones as well. He wanted a white one so he could see exactly where they were in the heaven, who's in the deep heaven. But that, over time, has been bred out of them. Watch out, because you've got a puppy. Um, they, they, they take a lot of energy and a lot of training. Don't I know it? Jessie's a real live wire. I don't see many other Gordon setters when I'm out and about. In fact, there were fewer than 250 new dogs registered by the Kennel Club last year. And the breed is designated as at risk of disappearing. So to see two others on the estate is a real treat for me and Jessie. Come down, Jess. <laughs> Can I come? Look at that. Look at Jess. Lance and Gladys have brought along their owner, Grant Buchanan. I think they recognise their own breed. I'm sure they uh, do. I'm sure. I'm sure they do. So this is the first time she's met Big Gordon Setter. She's doing really well, too. I'm doing really well indeed. Now, I, I shouldn't really say this because, you know, we have Gordons, but I think they look really majestic, don't they? They do, do indeed. They do indeed. I mean, we are, don't have show cuts in ours, as you can see yourself. Ours are kept quite close showing purely because of the getting covered in mud on the farm, but in a full coat, they are a gorgeous dog. Just uh -huh. a flowing gait that's just incredible to watch. When they're on full tilt run, there's not much can beat that, uh, that looks at all. Their genetic makeup is a gun dog. They like moving objects. But uh, recall, you have to work hard on your recall with them because once they spot something they like, they will be off. They won't run away, but they'll decide when walkies is over and not you. With the Gordon Setter vulnerable, like many other native breeds, Grant is attempting to raise awareness. In 2019, he organised a canine clan gathering here at Jesse's ancestral home. In general, a lot of the set of breeds in, in the UK are definitely on the decline. I think it's probably the rise of the, the toy dog is more popular these days. Uh, but they are such a majestic breed. They make a fantastic pet. You know, they're good with kids. You can do what you want. If you want to go running, they'll go running. If you want a cuddle monster, they'll be a cuddle monster for you. There's a way to go before the Gordon Centre is off the watch list, but numbers have been increasing, and I'm delighted to be doing my bit for our native breeds with Jessie. It really is a special moment to come to Gordon Castle with Jessie, where the story of the Gordon Centre started. I just really hope that the increase in numbers of the breed continues, because they truly are wonderful dogs. Has it grown lots, but looking at those other dogs, there's still plenty of growth to come, which is fairly frightening. But sadly, that's the end of this week's programme. Next time is the last programme in the series. You go for a swim. We'll be looking back at some of our favourite moments. Mine was my trip to the islands on Loch Marie. <laughs>